American Time, Integrated Solutions from the Clock Experts. Using the Event tab and the Circuit tab is probably one of the most useful features of Remote Connect. To get started with this simple example, I'm going to add seven bell events for my high school. Every time I want to add an event, I'll click the Add button and fill in the pop-up box. So we'll keep everything on this simple example on Schedule 1, Regular Event, because this event is recurring. A special event is really for a one-time event. Once it happens, it expires and never reoccurs. I'll keep the bell ringing duration at 3 seconds, and I'll set the time for the first bell to ring at 7.30 a.m. Verify the weekdays box is checked, and I'll hit Accept. I'll quickly add the rest of my events. Now that I've added my last event, I'll need to assign my schedule to a circuit for the bells to work. Let's jump over to the circuit tab and assign schedule number one to circuit number one. I'll label the circuit high school so I can remember what circuit it relates to. I can leave all the other fields on the page blank and hit update. For a more detailed example on events and circuits, please watch the advanced video. Now we'll want to test our bells and make sure we have them properly wired and configured. Enable circuit one. Click and hold on the wired button and you should hear your bells ringing. 